Welcome back to another episode of Storytime on NBC Connecticut's Kids Connection. I'm Ted Coppy. Today we have two unique stories to share. One of them is inside of today's book, The Letter Critters. The other is the inspirational story of its author, Chase Taylor from Waterbury, Connecticut. Chase has autism. Autism is not something you can catch. You have to be born with it. Autism can make understanding others, talking, or even making new friends hard for people who have it. But as you'll see, Chase has not let his autism stop him from accomplishing big things. Chase wrote, illustrated, and published his first book when he was just 17 years old. Since then, Chase has published two other books. Our own Taylor Kinsler from CT Live got a chance to chat with Chase and learn more about this local author's journey. So tell me a little bit more about this book, why you decided to write it, um, and the experience that you had writing it. Well, it all started back in 2016 when my mom found out that I was drawing these cute characters. And when I showed them to her, she had this idea about making them into a book. And that gave me some inspiration to do that. So I just put in some descriptions underneath the pictures. And it seems to have done pretty well. Uh, what's been the, the response? Well, I got lots of good feedback, like five stars. And I have some people who really enjoyed the book for their children, too. I think that we should read this book. What do you think? Sure, okay. Awesome, I'll let you start first. Okay, here we go. A is afraid of ants. B likes big blue balloons. C is very cold. D is a dynamic doctor. E has enormous ears. And you did all of these drawings? That's right. These are awesome. F has feathers and can fly. G likes to play his guitar. H is in hazardous heat. I think we're all in hazardous heat this week. <laughs> I is icky and has ideas. J jumps for joy. K likes to kick her ball. L loves lemonade. I do too. M munches his meal. N is negative and nasty. I don't like M. <laughs> o loves to sing opera. Ooh. P likes to eat popcorn. Q has a quacking quacker. <laughs> R likes to ride race cars. S likes slithery snakes. T likes to tap dance. U is under her umbrella. V loves victory. W has a wicked wink. <laughs> X is extraordinary. Y yells for you. And Z zips and zooms. That was awesome. What uh, What's your favorite letter in the book? Uh, hard to decide. Maybe, uh, maybe C or... Um... M. Okay. I think I think mine was why. I like why yells for you. How important is it to feel included? It was very important, all right. Mm -hmm. And in what ways do you think it can bring people together? Or you hope it can well, bring people together, together? Well, it shows all different colors that the critters have and how they don't judge you on their looks and color. 
And I think that's a really beautiful message. So if people want to um, read this themselves, is there a way that they can get this book? Oh, well, yeah, you could actually buy that on Amazon or on theletterkitters.com. Any other message you want people to take away from your book or just anything else that you want to say today? Well, I just wanted to tell you that they could also have their own ideas and they can actually make them into a book someday. And that they can keep doing what, what they are passionate about. Well, I think that you've inspired a lot of people. Um, it's pretty incredible that you wrote a book and at such a young age as well. So thank you for letting me read this with you today. Um, it's been super fun. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks to our friend and colleague Taylor Kinsler for guest hosting this Storytime segment. And a very special thanks to author and illustrator Chase Taylor for sharing his work and the inspirational story of his success. Chase's book, The Letter Critters, was specially selected by Kids Connection in partnership with the United Way of Central and Northeastern Connecticut. If you'd like to watch more episodes of Storytime, you can get an adult and go to NBCConnecticut.com slash Kids Connection or you can find us on NBC Connecticut's YouTube channel or on Roku. Until next time, happy reading.